back to the show, everybody. Now, the Houston Dynamo are hosting the Western Conference Finals on Saturday. There's going to be 30,000 screaming fans all there to see Craig Weibel, not Craig Roberts. Sorry, Craig. Here's Craig and Craig. Hey, it's Craig back with Craig. As advertised, number 16, Craig Weibel, fine defender of your uh, fighting Houston Dynamo, defending champs. You got KC in the house. You guys uh, are uh, sailing along. Another, it's going to be another capacity house. And I know you're looking forward to getting back in that title game. But first things first, what do you do to uh, eliminate Kansas City here? Aside from outscoring them. Well, yeah, I was going to say simplify the game. Just yeah. put, the, put the ball in the net a few more times than they do. Uh, no, you know, the key, the key is make sure our crowd's as obnoxious and rambunctious as they always are. Yeah. Little intimidation from the outside never hurts. And then... Uh, they're they're not the most attractive team as far as offense goes, but they're very effective, obviously, to get where they've gotten. So a little defensive with a with a great counterattacking game, and that's really what they base their game off of. So we got to make sure we don't get isolated one-on-one uh, -on -one defensively, and then offensively just get the job done. Kansas City, I've often said, I think they'll be intimidated. They don't often play in front of fans. <laughs> I mean, they don't draw flies. You could you could you could field strip a deer at midfield in Kansas. Kansas City and no flies would arrive. Uh, you played them twice. You had the, the draw with them here, and then Patrick Ianni beats them there, one nothing. Uh, what's your take on playing these guys again? I mean, I know they're. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to get a handle on how good they are. Well, they, they match up well with us. Obviously, we don't score a lot against. There's teams we score a lot of goals against. There's teams we don't. This is one of them. So, if you, you know, if, if we can't put it in the net, it just keeps them in the game for a lot longer than uh, than it should be. I, I think we're the better team. Uh, I really do. I honestly believe that. It's just a matter of can we score early enough to make them get stretched out and have to come out of their shell. Uh, so. Your crowds have been unbelievable. Oh, the last game yeah. was probably... Uh, the atmosphere is electric as any game that's been played here yeah. in any sport, and the same thing's going to happen this coming Saturday. I, I sure hope so. I mean, we gave them a lot of reasons to cheer last week. Hopefully we give them a lot more reason to cheer this week, but our, our fans are uh, they're amazing, man. I mean, you, you can show up and, and maybe not be on your best night and maybe not feel it physically, and by the time you get out there in front of the energy that's being thrown at you from 30,000 people, it just comes over you. I mean, you, there's no way to get tired in front of that many people. I got to think Kansas City, and I know we're talking about a professional sport. These guys are all paid. Eddie Johnson, MLS Comeback Player of the Year, gets back-to-back -back hat tricks during the course of the season. But they cannot be looking forward to coming to Robertson Stadium. I don't see how they avoid that. Yeah, thankfully I don't play for anyone else. Uh, I, I don't think anyone looks forward to coming here. I mean, the, the, we're a good team. We have great support. We have an awesome fan base. We, we have everything going for us. So uh, it's it's a definitely an intimidating place to come play. And I, I can't imagine any of their guys are really looking forward to being here. I want to go quickly back to last week. I want to go to the locker room. Yep. And during the course of an interview, one of your favorite players, uh, <laughs> Stu Holden, managed to interrupt an interview. First of all, congratulations. You guys obviously a big deal this week was working on getting the crosses going. You got the crosses going. I'll translate. He's, uh, he's struggling. His windpipe right here was elbowed with a sharp elbow. And um, Mullen just wanted to say Stuart Holden was uh, the reason that we won, right? Uh, Stu is uh, 22 going on, what, 14? I mean, I, I love him, but do you, you, you just cuff him or do you slap him around from time to time? Every once in a while, you got to put him in his place. But actually, Stuart's one of those young guys that, that gets it. You know, he understands he's young. Yeah. He likes being young. But, but he knows when it's time to be a pro, too. So uh, he likes to have fun, and, and I love that. I mean, I, I'm a guy who likes to laugh. So, you know, obviously from his comment that you just saw, he likes to have fun, too. You know, a couple of weeks ago he was on the show, and he said he was describing his middle school years, and he said he was a dweeb. What a hard one to believe. <laughs> We'll have more on Sports <laughs> Off Center. Good luck Saturday night. Appreciate uh, we're it. on your side, and uh, number 16's been with us. He's going to get some fine chow here. Uh, maybe we can get him in, in absolute condition for the game against the Wizards.